Hello my loves, it's me again and today we're just gonna um, show you around how does my beauty corner look like. I'm going to give you a small tour. I don't have a huge collection, I don't have anything major, but I just thought I could share with you how um, my beauty corner looks like and um, you know how I storage my makeup and some of the things that I own. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start. So my beauty corner is obviously right here in this corner. It's on my bedroom and it looks kind of like this. It's just a small little space and I have these two um, pieces of furniture, these two that I bought at Amazon. And basically that's all I have. It's so hard to find um, good vanity pieces here in Maui. So I just ordered these two pieces on Amazon and kind of put them together to make like my own um, beauty corner right here. And well I'm going to go over all the stuff that I have but I just want to start on the top. I want to show you. I have these two shelves um, right here on the top that my husband put for me together and those we got them at home deep but I believe I don't remember but anyway on the top it's where I keep um, you know random stuff decoration things I have that Eiffel Tower that my auntie brought for me from uh, Paris I have a Sephora bag and I have a heart that says love I have two candles that I really really enjoy and on my second shelf right here um. I have a thing for my jewelry, I have some perfumes from Sephora, the sample ones that I love and I have another candle that this is thankful. I have my watch and I have my Polaroid camera. Um, this is pretty much it, that's where I keep you know some decorations and stuff, things that I like. And this thing right here is just for like my necklaces. That's kind of what I only wear and I just storage them right there. And then on the bottom this um, arrow, it's a rose gold arrow that I got from Target. And that's where I keep my um, necklaces, like my statement necklaces. I don't wear much jewelry but I have a couple pieces but right now this is my favorite. This one is from uh, Bubble Bar. And on the wall I just have my certificate from Live Glam and I have a quote right here. So like I said these two pieces I got from Tar um, I'm sorry from Amazon and um, this is like um, a bathroom vanity or something like that a vanity table and this one comes with a chair so the chair basically just hides underneath well I just wanted something that was functional and easy to put together. Um, if you guys are interested in any of those uh, furnitures, I'm gonna list it down below on the description box. So I'll put the links over there. I got them at Amazon, like I said. Um, this one that it's similar to the um, IKEA Alex drawers, I got uh, for like 80 something dollars. But it's super cool. Um, besides having the chair, this tabletop actually lifts off and then you have storage space underneath. I don't really use that much. Okay, so on my actual vanity, um, this table, I just have this mirror right here that I got from... I don't remember if it was TJ Maxx or Ross that I found this mirror. But I just like it because it's like super cute. This part is glass and you can storage things. I have random stuff. I have my lighter for my candles. And, and then next I have this little um, acrylic storage that I got TJ Maxx. I don't remember. But um, this is where I keep all my foundations basically. So this is what I have for foundations. And the ones I like. So I just keep them over here. And on this bottom drawer, I have another one, which is my recent one, the Revlon Color Stay that I love. And I have some lashes and I have um, a bronzer in there that I'm trying to use. So I just put stuff that I want to use right now. And then on the top, I have this mug that I love, obviously, because it has like gold and the heart and I got that one I think at Target for like three dollars or something like that I don't know and I have a whole bunch of brushes that I thought they were super cute 
these ones, these brushes right now, over at Forever 21. They're rose gold and they were super cheap so I just bought them basically for you know to put them up here because I'm a junkie what can I say <laughs> I like to collect things obviously when it comes to makeup okay and then on the top I just keep um you know some cute lipsticks this is my honey this is a honey balm I really love this stuff it's like super super cute and it's great for my lips I love the smell because it smells like honey I have these uh, lip cosmetics, a rose gold glitter, and I have a whole bunch of lipsticks, uh, liquid lipsticks, and my MAC lipsticks as well. Um, those on the back are Anastasia Beverly Hills, and they are liquid lipsticks, so I keep them over there because those are the ones that I like the most. And on this side, I have... Um, some palettes this is where I keep my um, you know my most pretty palettes I think that they go super well with the display um, they are Jacqueline Hill the collection that she had with Becca uh, so yeah I like to keep that stuff over there because I think it looks really cute um, and also because I like to use them so I think it's so handy for me I got my new um, Cotton Likes palette in here as well. Super, super cute. I love the rose gold, obviously. And this packaging, it's just to die for. Um, I might have a review coming up. Um, yeah, so that's where I keep my stuff. Um, and I have, you know, random stuff. My camera, charger. And I have um, some, some glasses right here that I just recently got at Fuller Turn I got my ring light <laughs> so cute and I got some stuff from Sigma moving on to the side the next anyway so these containers is actually two stacks together um, you can take them apart as you can see they can move so this the top one I think I got these ones at Amazon as well um, I'm gonna try to find them and put them on the description box for you guys if you're interested they were actually not too bad. I think they were like 19 bucks. Anyway, this is basically all my lip products. I have way too many lipsticks. I'm not going to lie. I have way too many lipsticks in every single form as possible. This is where I keep all my chubby pencils or chubby sticks. Like my NARS ones or my uh, Bike Beauty and stuff. So this is all my chubby pencils or lip pencils. And this one right here is where random lipsticks. I think they're all matte. This is like a junkie drawer, I call it, because that's where I keep my uh, setting powder, my um, moisturizer. I have my beauty blenders right there. I have this one right here. So obviously I have more lipsticks. <laughs> and it sucks because all of them are kind of like the same type of shape, you know, those rosy. Yeah, so this is where I keep all my lipsticks. I have um, obviously NYX, I have some Essence. And then over here, this is where I keep all my glosses. I have a whole bunch of different brands. I have Buxom, I have NARS, um, Direct Cosmetics, um, Victoria's Secrets. And then, on my bottom drawer right here, I keep all my liquid lipsticks, my matte liquid lipsticks. I have those Kat Von D ones, um, the Lolita one and Lolita two. I have um, Jeffree Star Cosmetics Naked Skin. Um, obviously, I have NYX Lingerie, which I recently purchased because there was none in here in Hawaii. I couldn't find them anywhere. So yeah, this is where I keep all those crazy uh, liquid lipsticks um, and then on this page but I have some random stuff I have some brush cleaner um, this and I have um, the Nivea aftershave balm cream that Nikki tutorials raves about so I try that it works it's not too bad and on this little there I have some lip liners and obviously I have my brushes and random stuff storage over here so yeah that's where I keep all that stuff 
And on this side I have my um, mirror. This is the one that I use most of the time. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to move into my actual makeup storage, which is the drawer right here on the bottom. And I'm going to show you. Okay, so this is the unit that I got from um, Amazon. Like I said, it's very, very similar to the Alex drawers. And this one has um, five drawers as well. So, and they all look like this. <laughs> With a whole bunch of stuff inside. Um... They don't have as much room as the Alex drawers, but um, again, I don't have anything to compare them to, so yeah. Uh, I don't even know where to begin with. Okay, well, I guess we're going to start with this side. These little containers, um, you know, I got it from the dollar store. Um, they're super cheap. They come on sets of two or three for a dollar, so I got them over there. And on this little space is where I keep all my primers, um, eye primers, face primers, um, concealers right here. So yeah, this is basically what's all in here. So yeah, that's where it is. All my um, concealers and primers on this one. On this next little uh, container, <clears throat> that's where I keep all my blushes or some of my blushes because they actually don't fit all in here. I have some from Wet n Wild, Tarte, Milani, NYX. I have some Chanel brush that I always keep on a pouch. I think it's super, super, super cute. Also, I like my babies, my my treasures. <laughs> yeah, this is a, the blush. It's really, really cute. And on the back container, which is a little bit bigger, that's where I keep all my face powders. Some BH Cosmetics, some MAC, um, NYC. This one should be over here. Sorry. Um, I have ELF. I have my Lord of Mercier one. And then moving on to the side on the back, I have um, my bronzers and uh, contouring shades. I have a small, uh, sorry, a small sample of the Hula by benefit i have some and i have this one which is my ride or die obviously as you can tell i'm hitting pan on it already <laughs> and this is the wet and wild contour shade on the the shade uh, dulce de leche yeah so that is my favorite right there and on this side i also have highlighters and bronzers and this is my highlighters. So I have Champagne Pop from Jacqueline Hill right here, which is one of my favorites. So I keep it all the way on the front because I use that often. Um, I have this one from Anastasia Beverly Hills, which is um, really, really pretty. And then on this face on the front, um, I have a another foundation this is my covergirl aqua foundation aqua smooth and i keep it over here because that's a good spot for it and i have my bb my bb creams and tinted moisturizers over here so yeah that's where i keep all those um liquid bb creams i mean bb creams or tinted moisturizers or whatever and on the second drawer right here um uh, okay those containers also are from the dollar store and this is where I keep all my loose shadows, besides these ones. Um, I have those paint pots or color tattoo from Maybelline. So I like to keep those in here. All the cream shadows are kind of like on this side. Or they're supposed to be on this side. But it's getting out of control. Like I said, I haven't really organized these very well. So the, yeah, those all of these are single shadows from MAC, Urban Decay, um, Milani, and some um, loose pigments that I have. Keep all my, you know, single shadows too, but those are like in squares, and those are the ones that I kind of like use the most. Um, also on the bottom I have some um, quad shadows from um, Wet n Wild. So yeah, I keep those over there. Um, okay, these ones 
I think I found these containers at TA Mud Better. So in these little um, acrylic one, I have all my um, eyebrow products. I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills. Uh, brow, oh, sorry, brow pomade. You know, everything that is um, for my eyebrows, I like to keep over here. Um, and then on this side, this is where I keep all my um, eyeliners. Um, you know, liquid ones. I have pencil. I have. Um, color ones I have chubby sticks so yeah this is where I keep all my liners and then on this side I have um, random stuff like skin skin products that I want to use so, yeah. and on the back over here I have my um, glitters from MAC these ones um, this container is where I keep all my stuff for my lashes my mascaras my curler my you know uh, what's it called? Uh, my spoon, my oh my tweezers and scissors. I keep them over here as well because it's next to the eyebrows, so it's gonna go go together. Have a so yeah. This is where all my eye stuff is basically my eyeshadows and stuff that are loose. And then on the third drawer, I know I have more stuff. <laughs> Some people might think it's a lot, but believe me, compared to other persons, I have basically nothing so anyway here is what I have my lashes all my eyelashes I keep them in this container um, I have my lash glue and I and over here I have more uh, loose shadows that I'm trying to put on a C palette and those are like I said from um, makeup geek and I have some on the back from Morphe random stuff like things that I don't really use like these colorful mascaras that I use mostly for the girls on Halloween and stuff so I'll just keep them on the back and on this side I have you know my setting powders uh, I'm sorry my setting sprays I have my MAC fix plus my Urban Decay one so yeah that's what it is so this is my so we're almost done we have only two more drawers and this is the third fourth one and this is my favorite <laughs> because this is where I keep all my palettes. Well, not all of them, but I have most of them. So I have all my Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes right here. I have that. So I have four of them. And I have this BH Cosmetics palette. That that's what I use normally when I go to do a client or something. What else I have? I have my contour kit from Anastasia I have my C palette with my 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 ride or die um, shadows let me show you right here and most of them are from Anastasia Beverly Hills and then Morphe as well and oh makeup geek so obviously I like those so yeah and then I have my Carly Bible palette I have two of the MAC palettes those are I think I'm not sure don't quote me on that but these ones I think they're exclusive to Nordstrom because I got them at Nordstrom but might not be true and then um oh yeah I got one at Nordstrom and the other one I think it was a Christmas present from my sister-in-law um anyway so and then I have this master contour from Maybelline palette and then I have my glow kit from Anastasia right here and then I have this vice palette super super old already from urban decay but this thing has really good shadows so yeah they're kind of loose but they're good actually and this one that was one of my first first palettes that i ever bought from sephora and it's super old but i just keep it because they have bright and colors in there that i don't really own so when I do Halloween makeup um, for the girls or stuff, so I like to use that palette because it has a whole bunch of uh, shades that are, you know, usable. Uh, oh, and then I have this color correct wheel. And then over here I have my other, um, my Chanel palette that my husband got me to with the blush. So I just keep it there because I don't really use it very often. So I have my Too Faced Natural Eyes palette, <clears throat> my little Naked Basics, it's surprisingly but I don't really own any of the Naked ones besides this one. 
And then I have this Laura Mercier um, palette that one of my boss gave me for Christmas one time. It's so cute because it's like you have everything in here. I have a lip gloss, I have shadows, and on the bottom you have a, a oh, sorry, you have a blush and you have a highlight. So this is perfect for travel. Like if I don't want to carry much, just get this one. I also have my Wet n Wild. Um, remember the name of these ones, but I have this one. This is one of the best ones that they had. Super, super pigmented and so cheap and affordable. Palettes right there and eyeshadow palettes. And then on the last drawer, I know I have more junk. <laughs> But um, this container as well is from the dollar store and this is where I keep all my Sephora samples. This thing is full with Sephora samples so I might do a giveaway later because I have a few things that I haven't really opened it yet that I um, don't need. So I might do a small giveaway if we reach to maybe a hundred subscribers one time. That will be cool I think. Anyway, so I have here more palettes. I have all my Morphe palettes in here because they are so big. And then obviously on the top I can fit everything. So I have, um, this is my blush palette from Morphe. This is not the new one, but it's the old um, version. So it's like more, I have the 350 Morphe palette right here. So pretty, look at it. And then I have this one is the Jacqueline Hill palette that she made with Morphe, which um, obviously was just limited edition, so server. And then I have this one that has more of the cool tones. So, and I have a link also on my description box um, if you want to subscribe to Morphe um, brushes. Uh, um, what is it? Thirty dollars worth of brushes. Anyway, so if you like that, check that out. It's on my description box as well. I have an extra powder for my um, RCMA powder that I love to set my face. And then I think in this little baggie I have, oh yeah, I have a whole bunch of, um, what's it called? Uh, sunscreens and yeah, things that are good for your skin or protect my skin. So I gotta protect my skin from the sun. And um, yeah, that's all that's it guys. This is all my makeup. So, yeah, that's where all the things happen. <laughs> where the magic happens. This is like my happy, pla my happy place. Um, it's all in there. And this is my small beauty corner. Um, I really love it. I like the way it's laid out. I mean, so I hope you guys like the video. Please let me know if you do. Give me some suggestions um, about how can I arrange things to then make it better. And if you know of a product or any type of container that I need to own that I think that you think it's better for me, um, I will really, really appreciate if you suggest that for me. And please um, don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you do. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye. Yes. <coughs> y explicarles cómo es que funcionan, cuáles son los tipos más básicos